Hello, today we will learn about the impact of large projects to fundamental Scrum processes. Although the fundamental Scrum processes remain valid for large projects, there are additional considerations that should be noted. Following concepts outline a summary of the impacts of a large project to the fundamental Scrum processes for each project phase. The first phase we will learn is initiate. The initiate phase in a large project has the same objectives and follows the same flow as the initiate phase in a typical small Scrum project. Compared to a typical small Scrum project, additional roles need to be identified and additional activities need to be performed to achieve an agreement on how the multiple product owners, Scrum masters and Scrum teams will collaborate among themselves and with the business stakeholders. The first process is create project vision. A chief product owner and additional product owners are identified in this process. In a large project, the chief product owner has the overall business responsibility for the project and works with the sponsor and other business stakeholders to create the project vision. Additionally, the product owner's collaboration plan is created. Additional output, identified chief product owner. In a large project, the chief product owner has the overall business responsibility for the project and works with the sponsor and other stakeholders to create the project vision. As part of this process, the chief product owner is identified. Updated output, identified product owner. Because in a large project there are multiple product owners, they also need to be identified in this process. Additional output, product owner's collaboration plan, for large projects, it will be essential for the entire team of product owners to embrace Scrum and to collaborate to successfully deliver Scrum projects. Identify Scrum masters and business stakeholders is the next process. A chief Scrum master and additional Scrum masters are identified in this process. The chief Scrum master focuses on multi-team interaction and synchronization. Several additional or updated outputs for this process are as follows. Additional output, identified chief scrum master. Similar to the chief product owner, the chief scrum master should also be identified for a large project. He or she focuses on multi-team interaction and synchronization. Updated output, identified scrum masters. Because in a large project there are multiple scrum masters that are identified in this process. Additional output, large project scrum organization. It will be essential for the entire large project team to embrace a common understanding of Scrum and working agreements to successfully deliver the Scrum project. Additional output, Scrum Master's Collaboration Plan. The Scrum Master's Collaboration Plan defines how the teams participate in the refining of the prioritized product backlog. This plan would also define which team representatives would be involved in the refining process and how they are selected. Additional Output – Shared Resources Knowledge of any shared resources available to the Scrum team would be a necessary input in forming the individual Scrum teams. Updated Output – Identified Supporting Services In addition to identifying supporting services, for a large project, some additional supporting services may be needed to coordinate activities between all product owners, Scrum masters, and Scrum teams. The next process in this segment is form Scrum Team. In a large project, multiple Scrum Teams are formed, involving multiple product owners and Scrum Masters, as well as a Chief Product Owner and Chief Scrum Master. The Chief Product Owner and Chief Scrum Master are involved in determining the formatting of the Scrum Teams and they also provide input during the selection of team members. The Chief Product Owner and Chief Scrum Master serve the interests of the larger project while the Product Owners and Scrum Masters are more focused on their respective Scrum Teams. Additional Input – Chief Product Owner for a large project, the chief product owner would be involved in determining the formation of the scrum teams and have input regarding the members for the teams. The chief product owner would serve the interests of the large project as a whole, while product owners would be focused on the individual team level. Additional input, chief scrum master. For a large project, the chief scrum master would be involved in determining the formation of the scrum teams and have input to the members for the teams. 
The chief scrum master would serve the interests of the large project as a whole, while scrum masters would be focused on the individual team level. Additional input, scrum master's collaboration plan. Additional input, team specialization. Some scrum teams and scrum team members may require specialized skills to work on specific issues related to large projects. Additional tool, large project communications plan. This plan highlights how to manage effective communication between all people involved with a large project. Additional tool, large project resource planning. This helps manage the complexity of allocating various types of resources to the number of Scrum teams working in parallel. Additional optional tool, Scrum Project Tool. Since large projects would have several people, significant complexity and interaction between Scrum teams, it is recommended to use a Scrum Project Tool to automate processes, manage complexity, generate reports, manage communication between stakeholders, etc. Additional tool, environment identification. In large projects, it is important to identify the number and types of environments needed because numerous Scrum teams will be working simultaneously to carry out the work of their respective sprints. Additional output, environment and environmental schedule. After environments are identified, an environment schedule is created which is used for the coordination of sprint activities across teams. Additional output, updated Scrum Master's collaboration plan. As Scrum teams are formed, inputs from the teams and additional considerations will result in updates to Scrum Master's collaboration plan. Additional tool, environment identification. In large projects, it is important to identify the number and types of environments needed because numerous Scrum teams will be working simultaneously to carry out the work of their respective sprints. We shall continue this topic in our next module. Thank you for learning with us.